right now. All right. Thank you, Jesus, for just another day for allowing me to be here. Amen. And to allow me to see Bishop Amber doing well today. Thank you, Lord. But we give God the praise to honor and glory. Because yes, I enjoyed myself today. Thank you, Lord. Because it's even helping me to do my sermon on the fifth Sunday this morning. <laughs> When the pastor called, she said, I've been trying to get you since yesterday. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, but i got somewhere else to go. When she said, Bishop Amber, I said, okay. All right, I now. said, that, that's my first. I said, that party can wait. I'm coming at the bishop. She said, I'm coming at one. I said, oh, i got to get dressed. They looked at me. I said, oh, i got to get dressed. I can't miss this because something good in store for me and everybody else. I say, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And when Pastor Peterson got there, I was sitting there ready. I said, oh, she ain't come yet. I said, oh, I got to get there for some reason, Lord. I know the reason for hearing the word. Thank you, Lord. Because it helped me. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. It helped me with my sermon on the fifth Sunday. Bless it. But they said, God is good. And he always puts you somewhere Bless. in the right place. At the right time. Bless it. Because when I went to a doctor Friday, they told me I had to stay in the house. I said, I'm not staying in no house. I got church. I said, God got to come first. I don't care how I feel. Come on now. So she said, Miss Peterson, what am I going to do with you? I said, You can't do nothing with me. I said, All person can do something with me is God. Amen. I said, Now, nah, he said we can come here, but we got to put him first before we Yes, come yes. Right. And she said, She just shook her head and said, I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I keep telling them, God got it. You can you can tell me this, but I have to go to God first before I go anywhere. I have to do what he said, do like she said. Because he told me I have something to do when I go back home. I said, Lord, I'm going to call Pastor Peterson. I got to call Pastor Peterson. I could never get that phone to call her today. I couldn't get the phone to call her yesterday. Then she called me. I said, oh, Lord. What other day she called me? She said, we have to go with Bishop today. I said, I thought that was another day. I said, that's all right. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. And I said, thank you, Jesus, because he woke me up this morning. Thank you. He started me on my I'm way. On that. And when I took that oath in 21 of April, I had to give all this other stuff up for Jesus. Yes. And yes. It was Friday, no, Thursday. I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's not me. I'm not a morning person. I got up at 6 o'clock. The Lord said, now you start praying. He said, you go from room to room, and you pray, and you pray. He said, but what I want you to do is anoint everything. Yes. I said, your body starts praying, he said. So I got there. He said, I'm going to show you the first room to go to my uh, oldest son. I got there, he said, I don't want you to pray this way. I want you to kneel down at the foot of their bed. Yes. I said, why well, I got to kneel at the foot? He said, now you go to this room, do the same thing. He said, now you go to your room, do the same thing. And then when I look, I was in the every area of the house. He said, now when you spray the doors with the oil, do it from the top. Yes, and and then the inside and outside of the top. And then you do the bottom. Lord, you ain't never told me to do stuff like this before. I said, but you know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I said, but we have to have a talk to him. When you tell me to do stuff, we talk. Everybody say, why do you talk to God like that? I say, why not? Who are you supposed to talk to? Man, no. I can't talk to man. Man will let you down every time. Yes. So I have to go to Jesus with everything. Amen. And that program I gave for my pastor the 1st of September, y'all don't know she said, can I give you some of your money back you've been spending? I said, oh, no, no, Jesus. <laughs> so she told me, she said, like that. Sister Peterson. I said, yes. It was in the office. When you get the uh, envelope where they gave me this money, you could have it. I said, oh, Jesus, no, I can't take that. I said, oh, that ain't right, that ain't right. That's how I went. Then she just said that. She looked. She said, but you done did so much. I said, let me tell you one thing. Whatever I do, God already has prepared it for me. Come on I now. only spend my money, and I got six times much as I spent. 
Come on now. Come on now. I had 
the Holy Spirit, even I didn't know when I asked my pastor what was going on. Because I would go to church and sit down, and my whole body would start shaking and moving, and I would take my hand and try to stop it. And so I had to ask her what was wrong. And when she told me, then I knew what it was. And then I started saying, thank you, Jesus. And then I started speaking in tongues, and God just took over. Sometimes when I speak in tongues, he'll let me know. And then sometimes he won't. And sometimes I can speak in tongues now, and I have the answer. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Anybody have a question for me? No, it is, I'll tell him when I pray to him, I say, God, whatever I'm asking for, whatever I'm praying for, whoever I'm praying for, let your will be done in your time, not my time. And that's the way, you know, I pray and I just wait on him. Because he's still on time, God. You know, when we pray, we have to, we have to learn that because we are praying to God, that don't say he going to answer it right then and there. Amen. He is an on-time God. He's going to answer it when you forget about it. Because he always, he says, you have to take care of home first. And when you're doing that, in my home, I say, which is Jesus, my, my physical home is second to anything because Jesus comes first in my life. Since Lord. I learned how to right. pray and since I learned how to go to him. And I can say one thing since I've been ordained, it's been amazing. Miss I had one person, Bishop and Amber, when I got ordained, you were there. Bless it. And when I got ordained, this is what she always could tell me. You show, you show you're ready, you show you're ready. <laughs> I said, God, why did this woman keep telling me you show you're ready? I said, I've been ready. I'm here to tell you I ain't out, I ain't been ready. My Lord. But with her telling me, you show sure you're ready? You show sure you're ready? I kept asking God what she meant. And he, each time he showed me, and it would be a different step. Now, in the church where I'm at now, I'm being blessed more now. And I'm doing more. And I'm not being held back. Amen. Thank you, God. God. When I got that, God says, you're not going to be a bushy anymore. You're not going to sing in a choir no more. You're not going to be a deacon anymore. I said, well, what am I going to do then, Lord? He says, you're going to be an all-around. Thank all you, Lord. All-around. So I don't have no particular place in the church. I have to do what God said, all-around, because I sung a long time in the choir. I was a usher from the day one when I was born, it looked like. And then I did the other thing, too, the deaconess. So he said, now, you done did all that. You're going to be all around. So my pastor asked me one day, she said, why are you doing all this? How you doing? I never did tell her. God told me, I have to be an all around preacher. I can't just do one thing. So in church, I'm all around, all around. Because when I remember when I first got saved, the Lord told me that I would not be sitting down in the pews like that. Thank you, Say, you have to get up. You didn't come to church to sit. You come to church to do my work. And Amen. I always that's remember it. that. He said, sitting down is not my work. That's and it. that's why he told me I have to be all around. And I thank God for it. I thank God for Bishop because she taught me a lot. Because some things she said, I never said anything. But she tell me something I had asked God about. And with Pastor Sharon, um, I just sit and watch when I got in the church. Of what's going on, what go what's going on. Because the reason I gave her that program was God said to do it because nobody ever thinks about her no, or no. do anything for her. And when I did it, I did it with a clean heart. Because Thank you, Lord. I was just so happy. I was like, excited the whole week. I couldn't eat right. I couldn't do <laughs> All I was doing, going through the house, singing and dancing because I, God had gave me something to do for her because I watch her. Just like I said, I sit and I watch and take notice. I don't see nobody coming to help her. Thank Actually, you. she needs this, she needs that, you know. And God was just telling me what to do and how to do it. So she asked me, how do you know all this? Amen. How do you know this? How did you know I knew this? How did you know my grandkids this? You didn't, I didn't say this or that. I said, God had me here just watching you 
and what I do it. I ask her first any time because I don't go in nobody's house and say, oh, because I'm here or I'm a minister, I can do this. I no, you out of order. You have to go to the head first. Thank you, Lord. Anything on. and everything I do, I ask her. And she be saying, you don't have to ask me. I said, yes, I do, because that's the way I was brought up. Amen. I can't go walk in nobody's church because I'm in a church and I'm a minister and try to take over. That's not God. That's not of God. Amen. And I just thank God for just rising me up higher and higher. In Jesus' name I pray. And I thank all of y'all for thank being God. here. Yes, ma'am. Any more blessing. questions? That was a blessing. Pastor, you don't have a question back there? You just smile at those. No, she's waiting. She's waiting to get up. Good, you <laughs> God bless you, Mr. Peter. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Pastor Peter.